Have you hurt the narcissist? Some people think that narcissists don't have feelings or emotions. They think narcissists don't get hurt. They think narcissists are robots. But that is not true. Narcissists have feelings. They experience pain. They're always hurt. They're always miserable and dissatisfied. But you won't always notice because they're very good at hiding it. They act arrogant and entitled and they want you to believe that they have confidence in their abilities and qualities, but they're lying to themselves. They don't really believe that. They're just terrified of people seeing them for who they are. They're actually very weak and fragile people. They act tough because they fear being exposed. So to hurt the narcissist, you have to expose them. You have to reveal their true intentions and motives. You have to expose their actions and behaviors. But when you do that, they will ghost you. They will cut contact with you. When you figure out the game, the game is over. So they will disappear. Because at that point they've lost control. And the only way they can get that control back is by getting rid of you. So although they may act cold and distant, they're doing it for a reason. They're doing it because they're hurt. They're trying to gain control of you again because they're expecting it to affect you. They're expecting you to want them back. If you confront the narcissist, they will be hurt. They're very sensitive to criticism. But they will often turn it around and blame you or someone else. They will lie. Or they will find a way to justify their actions. They will always have an excuse. They will never accept their wrongdoing. When you catch them out on something, they're like a deer in headlights. They experience anxiety, fear, panic and confusion. and they will want to alleviate those emotions in any way that they can. So they will fight back. They will attack you because they feel like their reality is under attack. So in their minds, they're defending themselves. They will blame you. They will make false accusations. They will try to get you in trouble with the law. When you confront the narcissist or you try to expose them, it will cause a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. And then they will try to bring you down. They will try to make your life hell.
and once they finally calm down, they will try to pull you back in. They will love bomb you. They will try to make you feel guilty. They will do whatever they think will work for them. Whatever they think will get you back into their control again. But at some point, they have to accept that they've lost control of you. They have to accept that they're fighting a losing battle because they're expending a lot of their time and energy. And it's not going to good use if they're unable to manipulate you. So at this point, they will go full force. They will pull out all the stops. They will show no mercy. They will start a smear campaign against you. They will try to isolate you. They will cut you off completely. They will stalk and harass you. They will triangulate you with their new supply. They will do whatever it takes to bring you down. But at some point, they have to move on. They have to find someone else. Because they can't live without supply. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.